friends here in this video we are going to solve a problem based on the measurement of errors so let us start with the problem so our problem is we are uh, measuring a resistance of the circuit by measuring the current flowing and the power fed into the circuit so resistance is measured by measuring the power and the current now we have to find out the limiting error in the measurement of the resistance when the limiting error in the measurement of power and current is given to us so let us try to solve this question We know that the formula for the power is power is equals to resistance into current square. So P is equal to I square R. Okay. Now if we want to measure the resistance, resistance will be power divided by the current square or we can say p divided by i square now if the limiting error in power and current is given to us so for uh, using that we can find out the limiting error in the resistance also so it will be the limiting error in resistance is suppose del r in power limiting error is del p and in current the limiting error is del i so if we are taking the relative limiting error Then we have to divide it by the value, true value that is R. So del P upon P, del R upon R and del I upon I. These are the relative limiting errors in the resistance part and current. Now if we are writing the formula for it, del R upon R. Using that formula R equals to P divided by I square. So if we take the relative limiting error in the resistance, it will be del R upon R equals to plus minus del P upon P and plus because here we are having the uh, I square. So it will be 2 into del I upon I. Now the value of these relative limiting errors is given to us in the question. So we are just going to put their value here and calculate the relative limiting error in the resistance. So del R upon R is equal to plus minus del P upon P is given to us as 1.5% and del I upon I is given to us as 1%. So del R upon R is equal to plus minus 1.5 plus 2 means 3.5 percent so this is the limiting error in the measurement of the resistance and this we have calculated by the formula r equals to p upon i square so if we are calculating the relative limiting error this will be the formula okay so here in this question, we, are, uh, we have find out the limiting error in the resistance when we are measuring the resistance with the help of the power and the current flowing in the circuit. So I hope that this problem is clear to you. Thank you.